All right, let's take a look at uh, writing fractions in lowest terms. So here we have three fractions, and we want to write them in lowest terms. So what we do is we want to find the greatest common factor. Okay, We want to find the greatest common factor, uh, the number that will divide into the numerator and denominator evenly, the largest number that will divide into the numerator and denominator evenly. So if we look at 9 and 12, the largest number that will divide into the numerator and denominator evenly would be 3. So 3 goes into 9 3 times, 3 goes into 12 4 times, and there's your answer. Now what's the largest number that will divide into the numerator and denominator evenly for number 2? Well that would be 6. 6 goes into 24 4 times. 6 goes into 30 5 times. So here's our answer, 4 fifths. What's the largest number that will divide into 15 and 40 evenly? Well, that would be 5. And notice we have a negative out here, so the negative comes with us. And so uh, 5 goes into 15 3 times. 5 goes into 40 8 times. So our final answer would be negative 3 eighths. Now, let's look at writing a number, find the, finding the prime factorization of a number. And what we want to do here is we want to write each number as a product of prime numbers. And the prime numbers, uh, a prime number is where the only factors are the number itself and 1. So some prime numbers are like uh, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, and so on. So the first thing we do, let's look at 60. The smallest prime number that goes into 60 is 2. So we can rewrite 60 as 2 times 30. And see, 2 is a prime number. 30 is not. So the smallest prime number that divides into 30 evenly is 2. So we can rewrite 30 as 2 times 15. And then 15, the smallest prime number that goes into 15, is 3. So we can rewrite that as 3 times 5. Now, we have all prime numbers here. We have the 2, a 2, a 3, and a 5. So 60 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. And this is 60 written as a product of prime numbers. Now let's take a look at 72. Okay, so 72 we can write this as 2 times 36 and then the 36 we can write it as 2 times 18 the 18 we can write as 2 times 9 and the 9 we can write as 3 times 3 so now we have 2, 2, 2, 3, and a 3. So 72 can be written as 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Alright. Now, Let's use the method of prime factorization to re reduce each uh, fraction. So let's say that we can't figure out, like over, like over here in this pro in these problems, we could find the largest number that divided into each one evenly. So that was pretty easy to reduce. Now, 
if we can't find the largest number that will divide into each of them evenly, we can break each of these up into a product of prime numbers just like we did here. Okay, So let's rewrite 28 and 60 as a product of prime numbers. Now I'm not going to show the work on how to do that because uh, I showed you here how to write it as a product of prime numbers. So the 28 can be written as 2 times 2 times 7 and the 60 can be written as 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Now we can cancel out this 2 and this 2, this 2 and this 2. So we're left with 7 over 3 times 5 which is 15 and there's our answer. Now let's look at this next one. 6m squared over n, I mean 6m squared n over 9n squared. So we write the 6 as a product of prime numbers, 2 times 3, and then the m squared is m times m, and then we have the n over 9 can be written as 3 times 3, and then the n squared can be written as n times n. So you can see here that this 3 and this 3 cancel and this n and this n will cancel. And so that leaves us with 2 m times m is m squared over 3 times n, 3 n. And there's our answer. And that's uh, all of writing fractions in the lowest terms.